yesterday was very high we had the live stream it was really done very well it was really cool seeing it all come together and the interceptor finally arriving at its place in Bayona Creek uh, then we had quite some more work to do on the barrier piece and uh, luckily we are working here with the guys on site from Curtin they've been amazing in helping us out so I work with Curtin Maritime running that and we're basically running the, the maritime side of the operation helping ocean cleanup get the barge in position booms out everything's set up ready to roll so it's awesome everybody I've talked to so far on the beach has been super pumped about it um, wondering why we don't have these everywhere you know I see a lot of trash come out every time it rains right and I actually like uh, the fact that this is like a very proactive attempt to fix a problem that's really visible to us in the community. Um, I've talked to different people about the location. It's kind of interesting where you guys are putting it. Like I walk here every day and so I'm going to see it every day. <laughs> and I think it's a little bit of a reminder that it'll help us take care of our planet. And yeah, that's what I like about it. Uh, it looks cool so far. Um, obviously, it's still a work in progress, but I think it'll definitely make a change here. I see a lot of trash, so I think it'll clean it up a lot. There's just too much trash, so this is amazing. And for the next generation, so you can go surfing, right? <laughs> and not have garbage all on your face. Yeah. It's really um, impactful for to see this here. I think right away you can see how the interceptor is blocking off the flow of the water on the surface, guiding all the garbage right into the mouth of it. I, I think it's amazing to have it in LA where a lot of people are gonna be walking along here and seeing it and, and inquiring about what it is. But for me personally, knowing that if we implement the, enough of these, we're gonna see a lot less garbage uh, in the water and on the beaches, super important to me. I mean, it's, it's of the utmost importance to, to surfers and fishermen and divers and people who are on the beach every day. Um, but also just to the environment as a whole, to the ecosystem, to the, to the, uh, uh, all the ocean life that's out there, to whales and fish and dolphins and, and, um, and birds. Uh, all of them are being heavily affected by plastic pollution. And there's no way for them to filter out the garbage from the food. Uh, so that's really our job to figure out a way to do that before it gets into the, into the food chain. Honestly, I think the fit between the, this original interceptor and this particular river is, seems to be pretty good. Size-wise, pollution level-wise, um, flow speed-wise. The fact that it's important that it doesn't look shit because there's people living right next to it with opinions. So yeah, I think it's... Um, really look forward to seeing how it performs during the during the rains and if it does well it's, uh, it's obviously good I think it looks fantastic the barrier the way it's situated is, is ideal the, the positioning of the interceptor itself is yeah I'm really pleased it actually wasn't too much adjusting it kind of just fell right into place really happy with it this guy did a kick-ass job, Curtin did a kick-ass job. Yeah, so. man. I need to stress that it's a pilot project, right? They were out here testing the system. We obviously want to catch as much as possible, you know, we're not here for fun. You know, we don't do all of this work for, for nothing. So I want something out of it. I want full dumpsters after every flush. And I want all that waste to not go in and ruining all the beaches here. The idea that you have to close the beach anywhere because you can't go and swim in it because it's full of trash is, yeah, it's appalling. Pretty cool to see both barriers out. It's deployed configuration now for when it, the storm hits. Um, yeah, good to come to the end of the installation process. So a few things left to do. Uh, and the rest of this week's going to be training of the operators and then the onboard training. Some final commissioning work with MHG Damak on the interceptor and the following week some trial operations so the operators can be comfortable performing the operations such as taking a barge in and out, offloading the barge, opening and closing the barrier. 
And yeah, it's just great to see uh, the ending phase of the Interceptor project, really the installation part, because it's really the high energy and just really making it happen, seeing it come to life, it's uh, super exciting. So, enjoying it. It's been a great, uh, great ride here in the last couple months. It's intense, but uh, we got it done. Born in Los Angeles County. Please make your way to the stage. We're about two minutes out from the start of our ocean program. Thank you. Make sure you meet the CEO of the Ocean Cleanup. Oh my God! There he is, live in person. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you so live much. Live in person. 007. Yes. 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 Great location. Shake it, not stirred or yes. Harvey's. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you okay. very much. This is very exciting. Yeah. Thank you so much for your support. It's um, it's been quite a ride to get it yeah. here, but it's it has. amazing to know. Here and We're here. So now you'll hear directly from Boyan, the CEO, um, the organization that created the Interceptor. Boyan, <laughs> welcome to the second supervisorial district. It's a pleasure to be here. It's, uh, and it's a great day because I'm so excited to finally see the Interceptor right here in LA County. It's, uh, it's been quite a journey <laughs> to get to this day, but uh, it's super cool to, to see it here. I think the, the fact that it's here in LA will also make it much more desirable for other countries to also want interceptors in, in, in their river. So I think from that perspective, this might actually become the most important interceptor uh, we, will, we will ever deploy, which, yeah, it's really, really exciting. You know, it's not about, like you said, the ocean cleanup or about LA County Public Works. It's not about the, re the individual residents here, but in fact, it's about our world. And it's about how we're going to leave this for future generations. What we're going to do now, but also, like I say, leaving behind for our future generations. What we've all enjoyed for quite some time. It's time for us to take uh, action, and the action is now. And the ocean cleanup is leading the way with LA County and other partners to make a difference in our world. It's great to be involved. It's great to, it's my privilege to be a part of this. 30 tons of garbage that annually careens through Bayona Creek into our amazing ocean is the deep eyesore. I'm very excited. You know, sometimes government isn't innovative, we're a little slow. So for us to pilot a truly innovative project is very exciting to me. Um, it is a pilot, we'll come back in two years to figure out if the design works for the speed uh, of the water uh, and the amount of trash that comes through this. Um, we will collect the data and we'll ascertain whether or not this is a device that's going to work in this community or not. Uh, so we just handed over the uh, Interceptor 007 here in LA. So we officially inaugurated the, the machine together with LA County and it's ready for operation. So excited to see the, the tens of tons of trash coming down this river not ending up in the ocean thanks to this interceptor so um, and it's amazing to see the, the amount of support that it has it's um, people really get what we're trying to do here and um, i think the amount of funding and support this will generate for our overall mission and the many other deployments around the world will be will be major so it's a good day this is like a painting We've got a duck, fisherman, sailboat, an interceptor. Yeah, the, the sky, 